What's up everyone, I'm Stephen Harrell with Tiny House Listings and behind me is the largest model tiny that we have ever built, 32 by eight feet. So in this video, we're gonna quickly go over some of the new features of it and just give you an overall tour. So one of the biggest new features of this tiny house is that we switched over to a metal siding. Now this looks like wood, but it's actually a metal product. The reason we did that, a couple of reasons is that this is maintenance free. So you don't have to paint it, you don't have to caulk it. You basically, this siding will be with you for the longevity, for the lifespan of the tiny house. So this tiny house has a lot going on. One of the things that it has going on is this huge picture window, five feet wide, four feet tall, and you also has the same treatment on the back of the home. So when you're laying in the bed, which you'll see when we get inside, you have a basically 180 degree view surrounding you, uh, which is really nice. And if you look over this shoulder, you'll notice that we put double doors. And that's really nice if you decide you wanna put a deck out front and uh, you have the doors open up to the patio um, to be kind of blend the interior space and the exterior space together. Like most of our tiny homes, this house actually has a ton of natural lighting. So when you look around, you see a lot of light and there's windows basically everywhere. All right, so now we're on the rear of the home and you can see this has a mini split and the mini split is used to heat and cool the tiny house. Very efficient, very quiet, so you don't really hear it running. Large five by four picture window on the back like I mentioned earlier. And if you look over here, there's a gas driven hot water heater on demand. The great thing about that is as long as you have propane, you have hot water. So if you're someone who likes to take really, really long showers, that really comes in handy. All right, so if you're someone who's followed us for many years, for the last few years building our tiny homes, you'll notice that our houses have really, really evolved. And uh, one thing we really like about this tiny house is it has two pitches. So on the back, uh, the pitch is a little bit uh, greater, and then on the front, it's less pitch, and that just makes it look really interesting, so we really like that look. Again, I was talking about the wood siding earlier. It looks like wood. This is a shiplap style here on the accent wall, and then the rest of the home is wrapped in metal, and that's more of a batten configuration. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of everything for the exterior, so let's hop inside and take a look at that. So one of the big features of this tiny house is that there's a privacy wall, and not only is it a privacy wall, we'll get into that in a second, it's also a storage wall. Uh, so the pocket door separates your living space from your bedroom space, which is really nice. But here we're standing in the living room area and on this side you could put a couch, you can put a dining table over here if you want, you can put another couch that we have here, you can put different seating arrangements, however you want to work it. Uh, this one's a full 32 feet long, so you have much more living space. Another benefit of this privacy wall, which is also a storage wall, is that you can see the air flows across the top. So the mini split right here can easily condition the entire home. And if you can see up here above, we actually switched over to an engineered product for the ceiling. We really like this because it's already finished. You don't have to worry about it. Again, like the exterior, this is maintenance free. So this will last you the lifetime of the tiny house as well. Okay, so this is the bedroom area. Uh, we have this stage for a queen size. You could go all the way up to a king. You could do a full or twin. It just depends on what you need. Uh, the smaller the bed, obviously, the more room that you have. But this tiny house also comes with what we call a sconce package. And the great thing about that is since this is separate areas, this has a separate light switch. So you can turn the lights on and off in this area and that'll turn just these sconces on that are above the bed. Now this privacy wall, which is also what we call in a storage wall, is wonderful because you have both sides that you can put, you could hang it. We haven't installed the shelves yet because we really haven't determined the configuration. Uh, if you buy it from us now, this one happens to be for sale, you can let us know what you want. Uh, but you can switch from side to side with your uh, pocket door. I guess you could say your barn door. So if you want to get to the other side, you would open that. And if you wanted to keep it this right here in the middle for complete privacy, let's say you have gas or you want your own space, you could keep that in the middle. Uh, so this right here really, really opens up the opportunity to have a lot more built-in storage. All right, so now we're in the kitchen area, as you can see, and um, this kitchen, believe it or not, is a full 10 feet long, and that's the beauty about buying the 32 feet long. You can see here in front, there's an overhang, so that's perfect if you wanna sit there and use this as a dining table, if you wanna work here, just chill and relax, make drinks for people. This is a butcher block countertop, as you can see, and we use very, very high quality, soft closed cabinets, real wood deep stainless steel, black stainless steel sink. So we really, really like that. And we put a window here on this one so you can look out while you're washing dishes or just to bring in more natural light. Uh, as you come back down, you can see this storage all the way down, tons of storage, storage above. Notice outside that we had the propane hot water heater. This is also comes when you do that, it comes in conjunction with the gas cooktop. So this is a three burner cooktop. You can basically do all the cooking you need to here. We have a lot of customers who put an air fryer here on the top. On this side, there's a floor to ceiling pantry huge amounts of storage, storage on this other side as well. We don't have the fridge in here yet, but this is a 10.1 cubic feet fridge, which is basically an apartment size. Uh, that's good enough for food for about one week or so. And while I'm here, I'll tell you above, we have a huge loft. Now that's not really legally a uh, sleeping loft, but if you want to sleep up there, you definitely could put a ladder here. 
plenty of space up there to even put a queen size bed. But if you don't use it for that, you can use it for storage. So as you can see, now we're in the bathroom area. This is a very, very functional bathroom. So you can see here we have a 30 inch vanity uh, with lots of storage beneath. We can hang a mirror there if you want, whichever mirror you want. Uh, over there we have a flush toilet. Again, all of our tiny houses come with an outlet for a, a compost toilet if that's what you need. Uh, we have a full 36 inch by 36 inch stand up shower. We use the PVC wall tiles, which we absolutely love. Pocket door, built in pocket door to um, have privacy while you're using the restroom. And then on the other side is hookups for a washer and dryer. So as you can see, very, very functional uh, bathroom. And it also has a huge window, three by three, uh, to help, help bring in lots of natural light, even when the door is closed. All right, so that concludes the tour of this 32 by eight model tiny. We're really proud of this one. We think we've made a lot of upgrades. We've come a long way from our very first model since to where we are now. Um, this tiny house actually is not purchased yet. We built this to purchase. So if you're interested, email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com or you can go to our website, tinyhouselistings.build if you want us to build you one from scratch. And if we do that, you'll be able to pick the cabinet colors, floor color, ceiling color, exterior color, shower color, all those colors. Yep, those are all customizable. Uh, and we can build you one, believe it or not, in only about eight weeks. And we do have build spots available coming for this winter. So if you're interested, just reach out. We'd love to build a tiny house for you. So anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.